Hey friends, I'm here at the Woohoo Inc. together with a That's Woohoo! Right, Woohoo! <laughs> That's how you pronounce it actually. And I'm sitting here with Alex, CEO, speaker, author of um, various books, just showing this one here, which I'm still gonna read. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that. Yeah. And um, hope you like it. I'm pretty sure I will. Uh, obviously, it's about a topic that you all um, have heard if you're following. Uh, this channel it's gonna be about happiness and specifically everything uh, we talk about here in the Chief Happiness Officer Academy and also everything you do in your company is about happiness specifically happiness at work yes but maybe you can uh, put it in your own words what is Woohoo Inc <laughs> what is your vision what do you want to do yeah uh, we're a small uh, consulting company company based here in Copenhagen and we make people happy at work um, so we work with clients around the world. We've been to almost 50 different countries, uh, work with clients like IBM, Microsoft, Hilton, Lego, Ikea, uh, to help them become happier workplaces. Mm -hmm. um, so we teach them so sort of what is happiness at work, uh, what are some ways you can apply that in the workplace, and of course uh, we focus on the business benefits. Why do happy workplaces make more money? Um, and that's what we've been doing for 15 years now. Wow, such a long time and still the topic is so new and I think there's a lot of also misconception in the market and in companies. Yes. A lot of companies. Have I think the cool thing is that the topic is growing like crazy. So yeah. there's there's huge interest all over the world from all kinds of companies, all kinds of countries, all kinds of industries. Um, are they're all feeling the pressure to become happier because they want to be more innovative. They want to be more productive. They want to attract the best staff. They want to retain that staff, uh, which is getting harder and harder. There's a real war for talent going on right now. So there's there's huge interest in this, uh, which we're which, which is why we're invited uh, so many cool places to come speak about it. Uh, but as you're saying, there are some real misconceptions uh, about happiness at work, and a lot of people think that, yeah, we'll make our people happy, we'll give them free coffee, free fruit, free smoothies, um, and that'll and a gym in the office, and that'll make them happy, and that has nothing to do with happiness at work. Absolutely. So. Maybe you can elaborate a little bit, and bring some light into that because sure. the problems are there, but the solutions don't seem to work always. So happiness is a new solution. Yes. How does that solution work? Well, it, it's that you gotta. The thing is, you gotta you gotta focus on what makes people happy, not just satisfied at work, right? Mm -hmm. Because all of that other stuff, you know, the salaries, the bonuses, the promotions, the gym and the coffee, that makes people satisfied. Absolutely. But you don't want people to be satisfied. You actually want them to be excited about their jobs. You want them to come to work happy. And that's an emotional response to your workplace. And that comes from something very different. Um, that has nothing to do with the coffee or the gym. Yeah. That's about two things. It's about results and relationships is our model. Yes. Uh, looking at all the research that is out there. Um, and, and that's what you got to give your employees. So results is the feeling that they're doing great work. They're good at what they do. you got to help them be good at what they do. Mm -hmm. Uh, you gotta show them they're good at what they do, and most of all, I think, uh, most of all, I think you gotta show them that their work matters. Their work is meaningful and actually makes a positive difference in the world somehow. Um, and then relationships is that is showing your employees that they're valued as human beings. You belong. We care about you. Um, we want you to succeed. We want you to be happy. Um, we have time for you. We're interested in you. And, and looking at the research, those are the two main drivers of happiness at work. That's what makes people feel good about their jobs. That's what, what, causes, a, that's what causes a positive emotional response to work. Um, and, if, and then that happiness makes people more productive, more innovative, uh, more optimistic about the future, more engaged in their work, more likely to help others, uh, the happy employees make the customers happy. And that ultimately drives um, you know, business results. Definitely. And it makes a lot of sense, but it's nice to have it in such a concept and actually looking more at the emotions of the employees and the real employee experience. Um, yes. And not just the context and the benefits. I actually think it's a little insulting, the other view, right? Yeah. Let's, you know, it's, it's treating human beings like machines. It's like treating resources. them like, like, they can, <laughs> like resources, like they can be bought, right? Yeah. We want our employees to be engaged. We just need to give them the right mix of perks and compensation. And that's not how human beings work. Mm. Uh, you, can, you can keep them showing up. You can keep them sort of satisfied mm. and keep too many of them from leaving. Mm. But you won't make them happy or engaged or motivated with those means. Uh, that takes something, that takes results and relationships. And I think personally, especially the relationship level, I think people are a little bit different. 
some react more to the result side, some more to the relationship side yeah. and the latter. So I, I'm really interested in that and maybe you can just give some practical hacks <laughs> for, for companies. What can they do to improve the relationship? Yeah, and, 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 and that's hard. Um, I mean, it's, it's hard for many people because many of the managers that are currently in place in organizations are not relationship oriented. Mm. They're managers because they mostly care about results. Mm. So this could be difficult for them. But the cool thing is there are many simple things you can do. A, a, a very simple tip is to say good morning to your employees. If you're a manager of a team, do you actually go around in the morning saying a friendly, cheerful good morning to each of your employees? It's, it, it's a simple thing that costs no money, takes a little bit of time, but actually shows them that you see them, which is the foundation of relationship in the workplace. Uh, things like praise and recognition. When you praise your employees, you show them that they do good work, yes, but you also show them that you see them and that you care enough about them that you see, you know, you, uh, you care about them and you see their good qualities, not their, not just their mistakes and their yeah. screw ups. Mm -hmm. um, and finally, I'll just mention a, a very simple thing: random acts of workplace kindness. Do nice things for employees, just out of the blue. You know, bring them ice cream on a hot summer day. Yeah. Not it's not the ice cream; it's the fact that you care. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but also, uh, that fun, uh, you know, fundamentally, it's about having time for your employees, mm -hmm. and it's about caring about them not just as employees, not just as resources, but as human beings. Mm. And if you can't do that, you should not be a manager. Mm. Uh, you, can only, you can only lead people if you like people. I think that's, that's very important. And the exciting thing we talked about yesterday is, of course, this is not only something that the company or that managers can do for their employees, but it's also that, uh, something that employees can do for themselves and for each other. I would say, I would actually go a bit further than that, say something employees must do for themselves. You cannot, if you want a happy workplace, it's not only the responsibility of the managers. Uh, they can create the right framework, mm -hmm. and, you know, and the upper level executives can create the right framework for the whole organization. But ultimately, each and every one of us are resp is responsible for our own happiness uh, in life and at work. And if we want to be happy, we've got to do some things ourselves. And, 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 and again, what we know from the happiness research is that even as a you know, perfectly normal, low-level employee, there are so many things you can do to make your own workday better and to improve the, the day of your, you know, your workday of your coworkers. Right, which in turn brings back happiness Which to comes yourself. back to you so because happiness is contagious. So yeah, 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 that's the good thing And that's, that's the positive spiral. Yeah. Absolutely, that's what you said, that most companies actually are in either positive or negative spiral. Yes. And you can break that vicious cycle and, and get it the other way around and bring it to the positive cycle again exactly. with creating happiness. And I think what's so important is that the, the things that cause results in relationships are faster, easier, and cheaper mm -hmm. than all of that other mm -hmm. stuff, the, the gym in the office and the free coffee and the free smoothies and, and all of that. Mm -hmm. Those things are actually really expensive. Um, and 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 they and they don't work. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you have some advice for applicants who feel like okay, I want to work for a, for a company that makes me happy, or I want to I want to find a job that makes me happy? What do what do we have to think about in terms of which the job, but also the workplace? Um, yeah. Because this is, this is going to, to shock you, but yeah. I think it's about results and relationships. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you got to find you got to find a, a job where you can have great results and great relationships. So obviously you need to find something you can be good at, mm. right? Uh, you know, if, if, if you're not a doctor, don't try to become a brain surgeon, right? Because you won't be very good at it uh, and you'll get terrible results and kill a lot of people, right? Yeah. Uh, so you need to find a job you can actually be good at. Um, something that fits, you know, your personality, something that fits your skill set, your education, your training, obviously, right? Mm. But more than that, results is not only about being good at your job, it's also about being, uh, being, uh, uh, doing something that's meaningful to you. So it's also about finding a job where you do something you believe in. Mm -hmm. Something where you can say, I, it's not just that I'm good at it, I care about it. Yeah. So let's say you care about education, you could become a teacher. Let's say you care about health, you could, you could become a doctor. Mm -hmm. Let's say you care about transportation, you could become you know, a, a pilot or a bus driver or whatever, right? Yes. But it, it, it's got to be something where you can look at the work and say, this work matters to me, not just to the workplace, but to me, I do something that I believe is important. Otherwise, you could be very, very yeah, good at yeah, it, yeah, but yeah. you will never be happy because it won't be meaningful to you. Yeah. And so many people are actually caught in a trap where they're doing a job they're really, really good at, but they don't care. It's not important to them. Yeah, I sell cars, but I don't really care about cars. Right. Maybe you should go sell something else that you actually do care about. And, and then, and then relationships is you got to find a work a, a workplace 
or a team that has a culture where you will, where you will fit in. Mm. And, and workplaces have many different kinds of cultures. And there are some workplaces where you will fit in perfectly. Mm -hmm. And there are some workplaces where you will never fit in and you will never get good relationships because you are not the kind of person who fits into that organization. Even if the salary is high, even if you think it might be the right area, but the relationship... I, 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 you know, I can't decide for other people what they want to do. And if, if somebody's out there saying, yeah, I don't really care about this job, but it has amazing benefits and a great salary, I'll yeah. do it anyway. Who am I to stop them? I, right. I personally would never, ever do it. <laughs> Because you you will you know you will be spending more more of your waking hours at work than on anything else. So why not spend those hours on something that actually that you enjoy, where mm -hmm. you come home from work with more energy than you had in the morning. And I also say this: it turns out that if you are happy at work, you actually do a better job mm -hmm. for any number of reasons, um, and that will ultimately ultimately make you more successful. So, so trading it, trading it the other way, saying I don't really care about this, I'll just do it for the money. You may actually find that you make more money the other way by picking something that you're really good at and 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 have great relationships, uh, because that will make you know when you're happy at work, you do a better job, and that will make you more successful, and you'll make more money. And again, obviously, the company can help in showing you what what the company purpose is and how your job would actually. Um, add up to that main purpose and then you can decide is that something that matches yeah a company can help by having a purpose you know a purpose just beyond profits mm -hmm. and then by showing each individual employee how their work matters for achieving that vision for exactly. working towards that purpose yeah. and and so many companies tell you only what you do and not why you do it that's the difference now, I really think it's it's a co it's a topic to come it's it's a trendy topic and it's uh, where also HR, but business in general, or even the society in general, needs to look at what happiness is, how you can create that for the people. It's not only a business topic in the end. Yes, and, and in the end, the, the potential is huge because we can create not only better workplaces, we can create more successful workplaces, and in the end, a better world. Um, and that is the potential. Definitely. Maybe as, as the very last thing you want to share, what's your favorite hack to get happier uh, either in private life or at work doesn't matter positive positive feedback if, if I can uh, there are so many things a, a person or a company can do to become happier at work but uh, if I could pick only one it would be praise and recognition positive feedback it is so powerful and it is so rare in, in, in most workplaces mm. and it is so simple it's not easy it takes practice but yeah. if you can do it it can create such a difference and it's again it's a matter of learning it's a matter of creating a routine to just when when someone does something for you say thank you right right and thank you email always even private life. always be looking out you know what are the po the positive qualities that other people other people have yeah what do they do well what do you admire about them and then tell them it's this this takes practice but it's it's so powerful and anyone can do it definitely thank you so much my pleasure it's a great training here, uh, great meeting you, and let's create happiness for the world. You bet. <laughs>